Hello and welcome, of course, this is the weather, of course, for... Well, not the weather, but it is... Doing, explaining the uh, jet stream, let's go. Hi there. We've every right to feel really short changed with the weather we've seen here in the United Kingdom over the last three months, with the weather records falling just as quick as the rain's been pouring down. These were the scenes in Devon earlier on in the month with flooding problems here. And it's not really surprising. We've had the wettest April on record in the United Kingdom, the wettest June on record in the United Kingdom. What about this month? Well, so far across parts of southern England, particularly Somerset, Dorset, the Isle of Wight and Hampshire, we've already seen around two to four times the amount of rainfall we'd normally expect to see in July already. And it's not just been across the south we've seen flooding problems. These scenes were taken earlier on in the month in Yorkshire. And again, the ground was just saturated here, so any periods of heavy rain just cause flooding issues. Now, all that wet weather has been tied into a stuck jet stream pattern that we've seen really stuck across the British Isles for the last three months or so. We're going to see subtle changes over the next few days. Let me show how it interrelates with the weather we've got across the United States at the moment. Well, over the last three months or so, the jet stream has been moving more or less from west to east across Canada, but there are going to be some subtle changes here over the next few days. As an area of warm air moves out from the Midwest, that bumps into the colder air flowing down from the northeast of Canada. The temperature contrast, which, remember, powers the jet stream, is increasing across this area, and so the jet stream is going to begin to accelerate. And over the next few days, it will meet, reach a maximum speed of around 125 miles an hour, significantly with a kink in the jet stream developing here. Now, it's that kink, which is an area of acceleration within the jet stream, that causes the air to rise up through the atmosphere, and that rising air in turn lowers the pressure at the Earth's surface, and we start to get an area of low pressure developing. And this is exactly what we're going to see over the next few days, with an area of low pressure initially around the northeast of Canada and Newfoundland, coming underneath the favourable part of the jet stream, an area that will really start to make the air rise. And what happens at the Earth's surface is the area of low pressure gets deeper and deeper as it spins north and eastwards towards Iceland in this occasion by the time we get to the weekend. This is kind of more of a weather pattern we'd expect to see at this time of the year, with wet and windy weather often to the northwest of the British Isles, often high pressure to the southeast of the British Isles. And this is what's going to be happening through the course of the weekend. You see, over our shores, we've got a ridge in the high pressure, this kind of bend you can see here in the jet stream winds. And that's actually an area where the jet stream is decelerating. That slowing down of the jet stream pushes air downwards through the atmosphere and causes pressure to rise at the Earth's surface. So come this weekend, we're looking at an area of high pressure developing, particularly across England and Wales, where it's towards the northwest of the British Isles. We will see a little bit of rain from time to time from these weather systems. And as I say, that's a weather pattern we'd normally expect to see at this time of year. So it looks like we are going to see a return to more normal conditions for July, and perhaps extending into August as well, with the south and east of the British Isles seeing something a little bit drier. One other thing worth mentioning, though, the last six months across the far north and west of Scotland has been much, much, much drier than normal. And as we see the weather pattern returning to normal, over the next few weeks, I'd expect to see much more rain across the northwest of Scotland, too. That's it for now.